Oh, are you a tired pup? Oh, yes, you've had a long, long day. to have left you hanging there of me cleaning. I mean, you probably didn't really notice. Um, <laughs> today's Thursday. Uh, I f oh, I'll just wait for Elf to stop drinking. Okay, literally just as I stopped the camera, he's done drinking. Yeah, today's Thursday. You would have last seen the footage of me. We just came back from our long walk of the evening or like of the day, so thirsty and we were playing fetch for about 25 minutes out in the backyard. Um, I was speaking of which, I should probably wash my hands. I feel like we've gone back to basics with his uh, leash training. He has zero leash respect. <laughs> so I'm back to stuffing treats in my pockets and it just like gets in your nails and it's just disgusting. So um, anyway, what was I saying? Okay, sorry, I'm talking about the beginning and I was talking about the dog. Yeah, the dog has zero leash respect. We're going back to the basics, learning how to rewalk on a leash without being pulled because we've given him so much freedom of walking off leash because he's so good off leash, knock on wood. His recall has been amazing lately. I'm very impressed with him. Now his leash skills, like walking in, in a neighborhood and things like that, he's just, he's like, screw you guys. I want to sniff. I want to do my own thing, which is no bueno. Anyway, moving back to what I was talking about before is the last footage you saw was me unpacking, tidying up, getting back from my trip. And my trip was I went to Calgary. I was there on business. I was there for a trade show. So I was one of the exhibitors. So I was there for a couple days. So I went to uh, Banff and Lake Louise and it was absolutely beautiful. So yeah, so then I've just been unpacking and cleaning and all that stuff. Sunday I was just exhausted. Um, so I really just kind of chilled now and then I also apologize for not filming the past couple of weeks I lost my memory card and then I was just too lazy to go buy another one I was like I knew it was somewhere and I just couldn't find it and I had this whole plan of Thanksgiving and blah 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 So many excuses. I didn't do it. So yeah, now we're back. I'm gonna film me tonight um, making some dinner. I have some chicken to use up. I have some whipping cream, chicken, chicken broth um, because I, after Thanksgiving I made a turkey pot pie and then some turkey soup and uh, I think he got into his towels. Oh, excuse me. What are you doing? What is that? Ah. Good boy. And the attention's not on him. He gets in here and grabs his towels. He's also ate his bed in here, so he's just stuck eating towels. Look at the stance. Dude, you've had so much attention. Yes, look at you. You're tired and you don't know it. I think he's a little stressed out because I'm talking, but no one is here. So maybe he thinks that Brendan's coming home. Ow. Um, anyway, I'm gonna put you back up here. Um, I don't know what I was saying, sorry. Yeah, so I'm making Dijon chicken. Um, uh, butter chicken last night. So I have some rice left over. Usually you make it with potatoes, but I'm gonna do it with rice just because I have that left over. Yeah, so enough chatting, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm probably gonna put voiceover or music or something over because this dog's gonna need its squeaky toy soon so it can leave me alone. Oh, 
she's black. You make her too hot. Ow! Spray. Before you come at me, this is a clean fork. Whoa! I forgot to turn that off. Didn't turn that off. And I'm too lazy to mince my own garlic, so I'm using this. Whoa! This oven is so hot. Relax. Flour. This is what I want. Whoa, so much better. Okay, and I got about half a cup of chicken broth. And then my favorite part, one, two shots of vodka. Perfect. So now the main ingredient, the star of the show, Dijon mustard. One, two. I like it a little Dijon-y, so I'm gonna do another one. Another one. And some salt, a little bit of pepper. Oh, that smells lovely. All right, the dog is destroying the squeaky toy. I gotta go take, get rid of that. And then a cup of whipping cream. Yeah, I think it's all right. Oh, Brendan's home. The whole house is shaking. The Subaru is here. Oh, I think I'm supposed to use a whisk. That would make more sense. Oh, yeah, sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing. Ooh, that kind of looks like chocolate or like Bailey's and melted chocolate. Mm, I'm so excited for Christmas. Come home with a new toy. We have a mini fridge now. Well, the chicken cooks. I'm gonna watch some Jeopardy. Sprinkle a little too much parsley on it, but it smells really good. I'm gonna heat up some rice and then watch Jeopardy and eat that. Well, I need to work on my presentation. <laughs> <laughs> and probably could have thrown in some spinach to give it a little bit of some veggies, maybe some broccoli. It's not a very healthy meal when you think about it with all the cream and stuff, but anyway. Okay, happy Saturday. Today is Saturday. It's been a good. Whoa, why are we so blue? Not about that. Just finished editing the video to go up tomorrow, like the footage that you just saw. And then I'm gonna be updating my website. So I actually haven't explained it on here of what I did, but a couple weeks ago, I opened up an online thrift store. Um, so I figured I'd just chat about it and like let you know what it's all about. I've just, I've added, I'm adding some things tomorrow morning, um, like more sizes and stuff like that of clothes. These are all my thrifted clothes. So, well, no, that these are, sorry, these are my summer clothes. These are some thrifted. Clothes. This is what's coming on tomorrow. And then these, half of these are thrifted for me. Half of these are thrifted for the little company. Um, I'm working on a baby bundle right now. So look at these. Maybe the mom, uh, maybe the parents, but mostly the mom, just wants a lot of like Zara knits, very like beige, trendy, kind of fun prints and very like comfortable outfits that the baby can wear throughout her year. So she wanted... Um, she didn't want any newborn sizes, but she wants like 3 to 12. So I figured this would be a good mix. I can wear, I don't know where I put the other. So I found her this really cute baby dress. It's like a muted blue almost. It, it honestly looks like corduroy, but I just love the detailing. I think she would really like that. She sent me her Pinterest board. Um, honestly, it's kind of like a cottage core modern baby vibe. So I got this Sherpa baby gap. Um, jacket for her which I sent her a photo I was like do you like this and she was like absolutely so that was good as well um I don't think anything else is in here that's for her oh this little card again like look at how cute that is so cute anyway so that's the star there so yeah so then these clothes I'm just posting as like individual sales so like i have a ralph lauren uh turtleneck another ralph lauren uh 
a v-neck shirt that's there that's there i have i got some ralph lauren jeans made well jeans that are there um this is like a marks and spencer St. michael's new york Jan sorry jones new york there's an eddie bauer cashmere sweater burberry's cardigan Okay, we're gonna just sit and we can chat about the rest of this. You let me know like what kind of style you have, what kind of clothes you're looking for. I send you, I think like five, seven pieces of it. Maybe a little bit more, like the baby bundles that I've been doing have definitely been more because I have zero self-control over buying baby clothes because they're so stinking cute. Not ready for a baby, but like I'm obsessed with buying baby clothes for other people. And then besides the bundles, I have some clothing items that you can purchase. Um, if you like them. So I see a lot of stuff at the thrift store So I figured I would kind of do a little mixture of both and sell individual items and then bundles if you want them So have and specifically sourced for you. So I have my mannequin there little Manny the mannequin So I've already taken all those photos. I just need to clean them So that's another thing is everything is cleaned ironed and ready for you to wear once I put it in a box that's in here write a little card for the next little while like until i run out um i have a box of pr makeup skincare things that i'm not going to be using i'm just going to be doing that for a couple of weeks because then after that i'm going to donate it to the women's shelter closer to christmas but in the meantime i figured if people are ordering i might as well throw them and give them a little extra treat for ordering so i have that oh i'm sorry yeah the company is called inganish thrift i can put a link in the description if you're interested on checking it out i would greatly appreciate it if you did i really enjoy doing it i've been thrifting for a really long time i just find thrifting fun so um it's a good challenge i enjoy it i've been wanting to do this for a really long time i just didn't know when to start or how to go about it so i'm kind of glad that i've pushed myself and we've done it so anyway i just figured i'd come on and chat a little bit about that um, I also made an Instagram for it. it's called Inganish Thrift so if you want to go check it out there I need to get better at posting more when I went away to Calgary I kind of was like see ya I'm not gonna be posting because I was so busy getting ready for the show and then at the show in this past week I've been busy doing the post show stuff and it's end of year at work so it's a little hectic right now but I will be getting better at it closer to the holiday season. Posting more like outfit ideas, more like thrift fun shopping videos. I definitely wanna focus more content on the bundles and things like that, like how I'm sourcing things. And if, uh, if like the people who buy them will let me, I'll share their bundles online and like show their little hauls anyway i hope you guys enjoyed sorry i was so rambly also if you're still watching um that recipe i made the other day is not supposed to look like that like i was so tired and like delusional that day what is it delulu like looking back at it i was like oh my god why was i doing this things i was doing like i basically burnt the butter that's why it looked that color <laughs> i burnt the chicken like it tastes really really good but it's not supposed to be as liquidy as that like it's supposed to be like a stew like like a thicker consistency you pour it on on the chicken and uh yeah it, that honestly that recipe i think would taste really good with fish and if you did like a dill salad with it i think that would pair well together like the dijon and then the dill I think that would be good so i might do that next time but i just wanted to come on here because i'm want i'm editing this footage back and i'm like good god i don't know what i was on that day but i was so tired from work and that one glass of wine got me <laughs> anyway i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in uh, my next video bye